Jeepers! My heart's thumping so loud I can't hardly breathe. Oh, Toto, no need to be scared anymore. She ain't following us. I won't let her touch you, no how. Well, did she hurt you? Oh, she tried to, didn't she? Well, she must be the meanest old woman there ever was. Let's go tell Uncle Henry and Annie M. They'll take care of her. Annie M! Annie M! Oh, Annie M! Fifty-seven, fifty-eight. Just listen to what Miss Gulch did to Toto. Dorothy, please, we're counting. Fifty-eight. But Aunt M, she hit him. Don't bother us now, honey. You see, this old incubator's gone bad, and we're likely to lose a lot of our chicks. Oh, the poor little things. Oh, but Aunt M. Dorothy, we're counting. We're busy. Can't you do something? I'm doing something right now, honey, so just stay out of our hair. All right. Who suggested we move a broken wagon? I don't know, but this thing's heavy. When I lift up the axle, you two fix the wheels because they're all screwed up and... Oh, Zeke, Hickory, just listen to what Miss Gulch did to Toto. When she... I lift up the axle, you two shove her on. All right. She tried to kill him. But why won't anyone listen? Don't Ouch, you... Mama, you got my finger! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do about Miss Gulch just because Toto chases her nasty old cat? Now look at Dorothy. You ain't using your head about Miss Gulch. Ain't you got no brains? Well, sure I have brains. Well, why don't you use them? When you go home, don't go by Miss Gulch's place. Then, Toto won't get into her garden, and you won't get into trouble. Quit just standing there and clear that junk out of the wagon. We got a parcel of lumber to haul from town before the weather turns. Will do, Mr. Gale. Oh, Zeke, what am I going to do? Well, for start, kid, don't let that old gold heifer try to buffalo you. You just gotta stand up to her, that's all, with a little courage and a little grit. Well, I'm not afraid of her. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. You know what, next time she squawks, you just stroll right up to her and spit in her eye. That's what I'd do. Well, would you really? Sure I would. This life, you gotta walk tall, shoot straight, then you got nothing to be scared of. Oh, are you all right? What are you trying to do, kill a guy? How can you be so cruel? It's just a rib, Dorothy. But you really scared him. Can't you see how white he is? Jackrabbit, you'd be in the next county by now. <laughs> here, here. What's all this when there's work to be done? I know three shiftless farmhands that'll be out of a job before they know it. <laughs> well, we was just having a little fun, Mrs. Gale. A farm's no place for fun. You want fun? Go join a circus. Why don't just do that? Be a strong man, see the world. <laughs> don't start posing for it now. Here, here. Can't work on an empty stomach. Have some cookies. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You don't have to sit down, Ethan. Get that wagon hitched. And Zeke, go feed those hogs before they worry themselves into anemia. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, Ann M. Really, do you know what Miss Gulch said she was going to do to Toto? Dorothy, stop imagining things. You always get yourself into a fret over nothing. Oh, but it wasn't... Just a... help us out today and find yourself a place where you won't get into any trouble. A place where there isn't any trouble. Do you really think there is such a place, Toto? It's not a place you can get to by a boat or a train. It's some place far, far away. Beyond the moon, behind the rain. When all the world is a hopeless jumble And the raindrops tumble all around Heaven opens a magic lane When all 
the clouds darken up the skyway, there's a rainbow highway to be found. Leading from your window pane to a place behind the sun, just a step beyond the Somewhere over the rainbow way up high There's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby Someday I'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops, that's where you'll find me. So Gail, is that you skulking by the barn? Well, I never skulked a day in my life, Miss Gulch, and I ain't about to start now. I want to talk to you and your wife right away about Dorothy. Dorothy? Why? What's she done? What she done? I'm all but lame from the bite on my leg. You mean she bit you? No, her dog. Oh, she bit her dog? Afternoon, Miss Gulch. I just baked a fresh batch of cookies, if you'd mind to sit a while. I'm afraid I have no appetite, Mrs. Gale. Indeed, I'm so shaken from the ferocious attack of your niece's vicious dog, I may never eat again. Well, if you don't eat, you'll waste away. And I'd hate to see you dwindle. <laughs> Dorothy, could you bring Toto out here a minute? I'm sure if Dorothy's upset you in any way, she'll be only too glad to apologize as best she can. It's gone way beyond apologies, Mrs. Gale. I've laid an official complaint with the county sheriff. Was he sober? Dorothy, Miss Gulch seems very upset. That dog's a menace to the community. That's not true. As an act of public service, young lady, I'm taking that dog with me to the sheriff and make sure he's destroyed. Destroyed? Oh, Toto. Oh, you can't. You mustn't. Oh, Uncle Henry, you won't let her, will you? Of course we won't. Will we, Em? Oh, it wasn't Toto's fault, Annie Em. He didn't know he was doing anything wrong. I'm the one that ought to be punished. You can send me to bed without supper. Don't you see how sorry the child is? Surely if she promises your place a wife... If you don't hand that dog over now, I'll bring a damage suit that'll take your whole farm. There is a law protecting folks against dogs that bad. How can it be if she keeps him tied up? He's very gentle with... Gentle folk, that is. Well, that's for the sheriff to decide. Here's the order allowing me to take him. 
Unless you want to go against the law. Hmm. Ah, yes. What's it say, Henry? Just what she says, Em. You have to hand him over, Dorothy. No, I won't let you take him. We can't go against the law, Dorothy. I'm sorry, poor Toto. Must go. No. Now you're seeing reason. No. Oh. You go away or I'll bite you myself. Dorothy! Oh, you wicked old witch. Oh, Uncle Henry and E.M. Don't let him take Toto, please. Oh. Stop her! It's no use running, Dorothy. Oh, Hickory, I thought you were my friend. He is your friend. We all are. You, you can't fight the law, honey. Some things are just bigger than all of us. Let me have him, Dorothy. That's more like it. Oh, no. Please. Henry, put him in the basket. Oh, don't, Uncle Henry. <laughs> That's more like oh, Elmira Gulch. Just because you own half of the county doesn't mean you have the power to run the rest of us. For 23 years, I've been dying to tell you what I think of you. And, well, being a Christian woman, I just can't say it. Well, I can. So if you don't like it, I suggest you peddle your carcass off of my land. Henry Gale, I do not take kindly to that kind of talk. Just you remember, I have friends in high places. Then why don't you climb on your broomstick and go visit them? You got that horse hitched to the wagon yet? Nearly done, Mr. Gale. Nearly ain't good enough. You get it done and get it done right now. Skies are getting darker every minute. Gosh darn it. Come inside, honey. I'm not going anywhere with you. If you really loved me, you wouldn't have let Toto go. She had a warrant from the sheriff, Dorothy. What did you expect us to do? Wave a wand and make it all disappear? You could have tried, at least. And you stood there like you were stuffed or something. I, I just couldn't think of anything. I'm sorry. One mean old woman, and you were afraid of her. It just wasn't my... Time to interfere. I'm sorry. You are the worst of all. You stopped Toto from getting away. I just, I just hate you. Don't say that, Dorothy. You make me feel all terrible inside, like my heart were all tore out. Oh, I don't care. I never want to see any of you ever, ever again. Toto was my only friend I had in the world. Now I've got no one to talk to and no one to play with. And I'll never see him again. Never, ever, ever. Oh, Toto! You came back! Oh, you got away from that horrible woman, you wonderful dog. Oh, but she'll be coming back for you any minute. We've got to get away. We've got to run away. We need food for you, and food for me, and we're never coming back. Doggy, doggy. Here, doggy. Where is that dratted animal? Here, doggy, stupid mutt. I thought I asked you off my land, Miss Gulch. I did, but the dog got away. Well, he couldn't have enjoyed your company much. Wherever the girl is, that's where I'll find the dog. Kindly bring her out here. You never give up, do you? Dorothy! Dorothy! Henry, she isn't in the house. And that fresh batch of cookies, that's gone. And the picture from the mantle, that's gone too. Sounds like you've got a runaway on your hands. If she's on the road, I'll find her. And then I'll bring that dog back for good. If you wanted it so bad, you should have looked after it better. Don't blame me. The catch on the basket's faulty. That's the last time I buy anything from a charity bazaar.
if we're done, best it be done equally on both sides. Well, 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 house guests, huh? And who might you be? Well, don't, don't tell me. You're traveling in disguise. No, that's not right. You're going on a visit. No, I'm wrong. You're running away. Well, how did you guess? Ha, 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 Professor Marvel never guesses. He knows, ha, 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 ha. But why are you running away? Well, well don't tell me. They don't understand you at home. They don't appreciate you. You want to see other lands, big cities, big mountains, big oceans, ha ha! It's just like you could read what was inside of me. It's my trade, my calling. See what it says on the side of my conveyance? Oh, Professor Marvel, can we come with you and see all the crowned heads of Europe? Do you know any? Oh, you mean the thing. Well, I never do anything without consulting my crystal first. Please. Sit down right here. That's it. You just make yourself comfortable while I conjure out of air, out of the thin air, this. <laughs> Very same magic, genuine, authentic crystal used by the priests of Isis and Osiris in the days of the pharaohs of Egypt in which Cleopatra first saw the approach of Julius Caesar and Mark Anthony and so on and so on. Hold out your hands to help me look into the future. And you better close your eyes for a moment, my child, to help us better be in tune with the infinite. We can't do these things without reaching into the infinite. That's all right. You can open them now. We'll gaze into the crystal. Ah, what's this I see? A house with a picket fence. That's our farm. Yes, there's a woman there. She's wearing a polka dot dress. Her face is careworn. Well, that's Aunt Em. Yes, her name is Emily. That's right. What's she doing? Well, I can't... What's this? She's crying. Oh. Someone has hurt her. Someone has just about broken her heart. Why would anyone do that? I don't know, but it's someone she loves very much. Someone she's been very kind to. Someone she's taken care of in sickness. Well, I had the measles once, and she stayed right by me every minute. But that was when I was very small. She doesn't care about me at all now, and I don't care about her. That's not what the crystal says. Well, what's she doing now? What's this? She's, she's putting her hand on her heart. She's dropping down on the bed. What's wrong with her? That I can't say. The crystal's gone dark. You don't suppose she really could be sick, do you? Oh, I've got to get to her right away. But what's this? I thought you were coming along with me. Oh, no. I have to get to her right away. Come on, Toto. Goodbye, Professor Marvel, and thanks a lot. Goodbye. Safe journey. Better get the horse undercover. There's a storm blowing. A whopper. <laughs> Poor little kid. Hope she makes it home all right. Horses loose and find Hickory. Hickory, dug on it. Hickory. It's a twister. A twister. Last time one of them came through, they tore the big barn clean out of the ground and left a cow sitting on the telegraph poles. I cut free the horses. Good man. Dorothy. Dorothy. You ain't find her then? She's somewhere out in the storm. Dorothy. <laughs> Hurry, everyone, to the storm cellar. We can't leave her out here, Henry. There's nothing we can do except pray for all of us.
Toto. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Oh, we must be over the rainbow. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Who, me? I'm not a witch at all. I'm Dorothy Gale from Kansas. Well, is that the witch? Toto? No, Toto's my dog. Well, I'm a little muddled. The Munchkins called me because a new witch has just dropped a house on the Wicked Witch of the East. And there's the house, and here you are, and those legs. all that's left of the Wicked Witch of the East. And so, what the Munchkins want to know is, are you a good witch or a bad witch? But I've already told you, I'm not a witch. Witches are old and ugly. <coughs> what was that? The Munchkins. They're laughing because I am a witch. I'm Glinda, the Witch of the North. Oh, I beg your pardon. I've never heard of a beautiful witch before. Only bad witches are ugly. The Munchkins are happy because you freed them from the Wicked Witch of the East. Well, if you please, what are Munchkins? The little people who live in this land, and blue is their favorite color. This is Munchkin Land. And you are their national heroine, my dear. It's all right, you may all come out and thank her. It's all right. Come out, come out. no miracle. What happened was just this. The wind began to switch, the house to pitch, and suddenly the hinges started to unhitch. Just then, a witch, to satisfy an itch, went flying on her broomstick, thumbing for a hitch. And oh, what happened next?
as mayor of the Munchkin City, if county in the land of Oz, I welcome you most regally. But we've got to verify it legally to see. To see. If she. If she. Is morally, ethically. Positively, absolutely. Undeniably and reliably dead. As coroner, I must up her. I thoroughly examine her. She's not only merely dead, she's really most sincerely dead. Friends, this is a day of independence for all the munchkins and their descendants. Yes, yes Benny. Yes, let the joyous news be spread. The wicked old witch at last is dead. From now on, you'll be his story. You'll be his. You'll be his. You'll be his story. And he will glorify your name. He will be a bust. Be a bust. Be a bust. Give them back to me. 
to me or I'll... It's too late. There they are, and there they'll stay. Give me back those slippers. They are of no use to you. You don't know how to use them. Give them back to me. Give them back. Keep tight inside them. Their magic must be very powerful, or she wouldn't want them so badly. You stay out of the splendor, or I'll fix you as well. Oh, fiddle-faddle, you have no power while I'm here. Be gone before somebody drops a house on you, too. Very well, I bide my time. And as for you, my fine lady, it's true I can attend you here and now as I'd like. But after a suitable period of mourning, I'll have those slippers in my revenge, too. So best try to stay out of my way. Just try. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. Ah! <laughs> it's all right. You may all get up. It's all right. She's gone. Whew, what a smell of sulfur. Well, I'm afraid you've made rather a bad enemy of the Wicked Witch of the West. And the safer you get out of Oz altogether, the safer you'll sleep, my dear. Oh, I'd give anything to get out of Oz altogether. But I don't know how to get to Kansas. I can't go the way I came. Well, that's true. The only person who might know would be the great and wonderful Wizard of Oz himself. The Wizard of Oz? Is he good or is he wicked? Oh, he's very good, but very mysterious. He lives in the Emerald City, and that's a long journey from here. Did you bring your broomstick with you? Oh, no, I'm afraid I didn't. Well, you'll just have to walk. The Munchkins will see you safely to the border of Munchkinland. And re remember, never let those ruby slippers off your feet for a moment, or you'll be at the mercy of the Wicked Witch of the West. Well, how do I start out for the Emerald City? It's always best to start at the beginning, and all you do is follow the Yellow Brick Road. But what happens if I... Just follow the Yellow Brick Road. Oh my, people come and go so quickly around here. We'll follow the Yellow Brick Road. Follow the Yellow Brick Road? Follow the Yellow Brick Road. 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 Follow, 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 follow the Yellow Brick Road. Follow the Yellow Brick, follow the Yellow Brick, follow the Yellow Brick Road. Yellow Brick Road. Well, now which way do we go? That way is a very nice way. Who said that? Don't be silly, Toto. Scarecrows can't talk. It's pleasant down that way, too. Well, that's funny. Wasn't he pointing the other way? Of course, some people do go both ways. Oh, why, you did say something, didn't you? Are you doing that on purpose, or can't you make up your mind? Mind? No, you see. I haven't got a brain, so I haven't a mind to make up. Well, how can you talk if you haven't got a brain? Well, I don't know. <laughs> but some people without brains do an awful lot of talking, don't they? Well, yes, I guess you're right. Can't you get down? Down? No, you see, I got a pole stuck up my back. 
Oh, is there any way I can help you? Well, of course. <laughs> I'm not very bright about doing things. But if you just bend the nail down in the back, maybe I'll slip off. Oh, well, I'll certainly try. Oh, it's an awful stiff nail. Oh, whoa. <gasps> oh. oh. There goes some more of me again. Oh, does it hurt you? Oh, no. I just keep picking it up and putting it back in again. My, oh. it's good to be free. Whoa. Oh. oh. Did I scare you? No, of course not. I just thought you hurt yourself. But I didn't scare you? Well, no. I didn't think so. You see, I can't even scare a crow. They come from miles around Here. to eat my field and laugh in my face. Is this sticking? I need, I need, I need tape. Said a scarecrow swinging on a pole to a black bird sitting on a fence. Okay, it doesn't matter. The Lord gave me a soul, but forgot to give me common sense. Said the scarecrow, would be pleasing, just the reason of the reason of the witchness and the whiteness and the whence. If I had an ounce of common sense, why, yes. I could while away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. In my head, I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. Oh, I'd unravel every riddle for any individual in trouble or in pain. Oh, with the thoughts you'd be thinking, you could be another Lincoln. If I only had a brain. Oh, I could tell you why. The oceans near the shore. You could think of things you never thunk before. And then I'd sit and think some more. Gosh, it would be awful pleasing to reason out the reason for things I can explain. I would dance and be merry. Life would be a ding a dairy if I only had a brain. Oh, I would not be just a nothing, my head all full of something, my heart all full of pain. Then perhaps I deserve you and be even worthy of ya. If I only had a brain. Scarecrow back in Kansas could do that, the crows would be scared to pieces. Oh, they would? Oh, yes. Well, where is Kansas? Well, that's where I live. And I want to get back there so badly, I'm going all the way to the Emerald City to get the Wizard of Oz to help me. You're going to see a wizard? Uh-huh. Well, do you think if I went with you, this wizard would give me a brain? Well, I couldn't say. But even if you didn't, you'd be no worse off than you are now. Yes, that's true. But maybe you'd better not. I've got a witch mad at me, and you might get into trouble. Oh, a witch? Huh? I'm not afraid of a witch. Oh, I'm not afraid of anything. Except a lighted match. Oh, well, I don't blame you for that. But I'd face a whole box full of them for the chance of getting a brain. Oh, well, come along with me then. Okay. Hooray! I'm going to get me a brain. To Oz? To Oz. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Here he is, a wizard, a wizard, if ever a wizard there was. If ever, a ever a wizard there was, the wizard of Oz is happy. Because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz.
I never care for them. How's that? Too much of a stuffed shirt. Go, go, But I thought only crows got hungry. Well, all living things need to eat. Oh, I don't need to eat. Does that mean I'm not alive? Oh, no, Scarecrow. You're the liveliest friend I ever had. Oh, why, thank you. Just for that, you can eat as much as my hay as you'd like. Oh, I couldn't do that. Oh, oh well, perhaps it's just as well. There's a little mother field mouse in here that wouldn't like her nest to be disturbed. Oh, <laughs> Oh, look, Scarecrow, apples. Apples? What's apples? In the trees. You mean all those little red birds hanging upside down by one leg? They're not birds. They're something you eat, and they're delicious. <gasps> Ow! What do you think you're doing? Oh, we've been locking a long ways, and I was hungry. Well, did you say something? She was hungry. She was hungry. <laughs> well, How would you like if someone came along and picked something off of you? Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting I'm not in Kansas. Come along, Dorothy. You don't want any of those apples. Yuck. Are you hinting that my apples aren't what they ought to be? Oh, no. It's just that she doesn't like the little green worms. Worms! Did, did, did he just say we had worms? That's what it sounded like to me. I'll show you how to get apples. Oh yeah, you got worms, worms, caterpillars, and a whole bunch of wood lice too. Ooh, how dare you! Let's give it to them, girls! Take that! Oh. Take that! Watch out, Dorothy! Face slanderer. How do you like them apples? We like them just fine. I've suddenly twigged. Me too. They've made saps of us all. I think it's time we bowed out. <gasps> oh, it's a man made out of tin. What? Oh, yeah, so look. Oh, can. Did you say something? Oh, Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> Oil can what? Oil can? Um. Oh, here it is. Where would you like to be oiled first? Um, he said his mouth. Oh. Other side. My goodness! I can talk again. Oil my arms, please. Oil my elbows. Oh, oh, oh that's the stuff. Oh, oh. oh, does it hurt you? Oh, no. It feels wonderful. I've held this axe up for ages. Oh. Well, how did you ever get like this? Well, when I was flesh and blood like you, I fell in love with a munchkin maiden whose mother hated me. So to stop me from marrying her daughter, she hired the Wicked Witch of the West to put an evil spell on my axe. When she tried to chop down a tree, it chopped my leg off instead. Oh, that's terrible. But, by good fortune, I knew of a wonderful tinsmith who gave me a new leg, almost as good as the old one. So, back I went to work, and you know what happened. Well, something terrible, I bet. I swung my axe again and dang me if it didn't take off the other leg. Oh. Well, you should have got a new axe. I guess you're right. 
but I got me a new leg instead, and back I went to work. <laughs> you sure were persistent. This time, I chopped off both my arms. Oh, well, I could see how you would have chopped off one arm, but how did you manage to chop off the other one? I told you the axe was enchanted. Oh, you see, Dorothy, if I had a brain, I could have figured that out for myself. I sometimes I didn't get new arms and legs from the tinsmith because the last time I swung my axe was the worst time of all. Oh, I don't want to hear this. Well, what happened? I split myself right down the middle. Oh, you poor thing. So the tinsmith gave me a new head and body, and on my way home I got caught in a terrible rainstorm and rusted solid. I've been here ever since. Oh, well, you're perfect now. My neck, my, my neck. Oh. Much better. Perfect. Bang on my chest if you think I'm perfect. Go ahead, bang on it. Come. Beautiful. What an echo. It's empty. The tinsmith forgot to give me a heart. No, no heart? heart? No heart. All hollow. As long as I have no heart, I can never love my munchkin maiden. Oh, don't cry. You'll rust up again. I used to carve her name on every tree. You can say that again. Said a tin man rattling his chips to a straw man sat a weary eye. Oh, the smith gave me tin ribs, but forgot to put a heart inside. Then he banged his hollow chest and cried. When a man's an empty kettle, he should be on his metal, and yet I'm torn apart. Just because I'm presuming that I could be kind to human if I only had a heart. I'd be tender, I'd be gentle, and awful sentimental regarding love and art. I'd be friends with the sparrows and the boy that shoots the arrows if I only had a heart. Picture me a balcony above the voice sings along. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? I hear a beat. How sweet! Just to register emotion, jealousy, devotion, and really feel the part. I could stay young and chipper, and I'd lock it with a zipper if I only had a heart. Oh, I may be presuming that I could be kind to human. I'd be friends with the sparrows and the boy that shoots the arrows. You could stay young and chipper. And I'd lock it with a zipper if I only, if he only, if he only had a heart. I'm afraid I'm a little rusty yet. <laughs> Why don't you go back to the tinsmith and ask him to give you a new heart? Oh no, he went out of business long ago. Ran, Ran out, out of tin. tin. Oh. Well, we're on our way to see a wizard now. Why don't you ask him for a heart? Well, suppose the wizard wouldn't give me one when we got there. Oh, but he will. He must. 
We've come such a long way already. You call that long? Why, you've only just begun. You! You're the one who put a spell on my axe! It certainly chopped you down to size, didn't it? And now you're helping the little lady along, are you, my fine gentleman? Well, stay away from her, or I'll stuff a mattress with you, Scarecrow. And you, Tin Man, I'll use you for a beehive. Oh, I'm not afraid of you. That just proves you don't have a brain. Allow me to educate you. Oh. Here, Scarecrow. Wanna play ball? Ah! Ah! Oh, help, I'm on fire! Remember, Scarecrow, helping that girl reach the Emerald City could be your last burning ambition. <laughs> oh, I'm still not afraid of her. I'll see you get to the wizard, whether I get a brain or not. Stuff a mattress with me, ha! And I'll see you reach the wizard, whether I get a hive or not. Beehive. <laughs> Let her try to make a beehive out of me. Oh, you're the best friends anyone could ever have. And it's funny, I feel as if I'd known you for a long time. But I couldn't have, could I? I don't see how. You weren't around when I was stuffed and sewn together, were you? And I was standing over there rusting for the longest time. I wish I could remember. But it really doesn't matter. We know each other now, don't we? That's right. We do. To Oz? To, to Oz. Oz. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. We hear he is a wizard, with the clever wish there was. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. They're branching out into the wild forest. I would not be caught dead in that wild forest. If I grew oh, there, I'd be petrified. At least we're not on fire. Yeah. Of course, I'm not very bright about things, but I think it's gonna get darker before it gets lighter. Oh, you don't suppose we'll meet any wild animals, do you? We might. Some. Some that eat straw? Some, but mostly lions and tigers and bears. Lions? And tigers. And bears. Oh, lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Lions, lions and, and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Lions 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 and tigers and bears! Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Oh, oh, all right. Now, which one of you wise guys was blowing that whistle in my forest? Huh? Ha. Put him up. Put him up. Come on, I'll fight you both at the same time. I fight you with one arm tied behind my back. I fight you standing on one foot. I'll even fight you with my eyes closed. 
Here, here, go away and let us alone. Oh, oh, oh. pulling an axe on me, eh? Sneaking up on me, eh? Blowing a whistle on me, eh? Why? Oh, are you scared? Scared, huh? Afraid, huh? How long are you gonna stay fresh in that tin can? <laughs> Put them up and fight, you shivering junkyard. Ha, put your hands up, you lopsided bag of hay. Uh oh, the rock. Oh. Well, it was you. I'll get you anyway, Pee Wee. Oh, oh shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> What you going through that for? I, 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 I didn't fight him. Oh, well, you tried to. It's one thing picking on a straw man when you go around picking on poor little dogs. We didn't have to go and hit me, did you? Is my nose bleeding? No, of course not. My goodness, what a fuss you're making. Naturally, when you go around picking on things weaker than you are, well, you're nothing but a great big coward. <laughs> well, you're right. I am a coward. That scary whistle turned me into a joinky soul. Oh, I even scare myself sometimes. <laughs> Look at the circles under my eyes. I haven't slept in weeks. Why oh, don't you try counting sheep? That's no good. I'm afraid of them. <laughs> well, that's too bad. Do you think if he came with us, the wizard could help him too? Well, I don't see why not. Why don't you come along with us? Wouldn't you be degraded by being in the company of a cowardly lion? Oh, of course not. Well, that's awfully nice of you. My life has been simply unbearable. Even my family disowns me. When I was just a cub, my family took me to the top of a high mountain and my father waved his paw and said, One day, son, all of this will be yours. <laughs> Oh, I was terrified. Why's that? I'm scared of heights. Oh. Well, it's all right. You can come with us. We're on our way to see the wizard now to get him a heart. And him a brain. Well, well at least you'll be safe when you're with me. Why's that? Because no self-respecting wild animal will come anywhere near me. Oh. Said a lion. Born erotic lion to a miss who listened to him rain. Oh, the Lord gave me a lion, but the Lord forgot to make gray. Then my tail began to coil and wave. Life is sad, believe me, Missy, when you're born to be a sissy without the villain wife. But I could change my habits, never more be scared of rabbits if I only had the noise. I'm afraid there's no denying, I'm just a dandelion, a fate I don't deserve. But I could show my prowess, be a lion, not a mouse, if I only had the noise. The you could roar the way you never roared before And then I'd roof and roar some more I would show the dinosaurus who's king around the forest A king they better serve Why with my regal beezer I could be another Caesar If I only had the noise 
I'd be brave as a blizzard. I'd be gentle as a lizard. I'd be clever as a gizzard. If the wizard is a wizard, who will serve? Then I'm sure to get a brain. A heart. A home. The noise. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Here's the wizard of Oz, if ever a wizard there was. If ever a wonder a wizard there was, the wizard of Oz is one because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. as boundless optimism. Happily, it is totally misplaced. Now shall I squash them out like the interfering bugs they are? Or shall I be witty and creative? The bug alternative is attractive, but messy. So witty and creative wins the day. Aha! Something with poison in it. With poison in it, but attractive to the eye and soothing to the smell. Puppies! 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 This lethal lullaby will put them to sleep forever. And then the ruby slippers will be mine! <laughs> Yellow Brick Road seems to go on forever. If you're tired, Dorothy, we can take a shortcut. The road curves from this poppy field. We can cut through it and pick it up on the other side. Let's go. Oh, I've never seen such beautiful poppies. I think poppies is my favorite flower. Oh, the smell is so wonderful, and the singing. I can hear it too. It's like the heavenly semaphores. Oh, what's, what's happening? Oh, I'm so sleepy. Well, here, give us your hands and we'll pull you along. Oh, no. I have to rest for just a second. Will you lie there, Toto? We'll have a little nap together. Oh, you can't rest now. We've got to go on. Come to think of it. 40 ways is such a bad idea. Oh, don't you start too? It's the poppies, that's what's doing it. Oh, don't cry, you'll rush yourself again. This is a spell, this is. It's the Wicked Witch, what do we do? Help, help us please. <laughs> oh, it's no use screaming at a time like this. No one will ever hear you. Help, 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 help. 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 I hear you, Scarecrow. And although I can't undo the magic of the Wicked Witch, perhaps a magic of my own will save the day. He's rested again. Someone give me the oil can, quick. Well, I don't have it. I just forgot something. What? <laughs> I was sitting on it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Boy, those poppies are some powerful stuff. I didn't feel a thing. Although my wife 
white magic has done its work. Journey's end is now in sight. Oh, oh look! It's the Emerald City! Oh, we're almost there at last, at last! Well, come on then! You're out of the woods, you're out of the dark, you're out of the night. Step into the sun, step into the light. Keep straight ahead for the most glorious place on the face of the earth or the sky. Hold on to your breath, hold on to your heart, hold on to your hope. To Oz. To Oz. To Oz. We're off to see the We're wizard. We're off to see the wizard. We're off to see the wizard.